Hi guys, uh, I wanted to do, try my hand at a little reaction video. Um, this one is, uh, I know people generally react to, you know, uh, spinners and uh, people doing weird stuff at 3am, uh, getting phone calls and all that kind of stuff, but, but this, uh, you know, PewDiePie type stuff. Um, but I'm just going to try my hand at something that's vaguely retro. So I've come across this video on YouTube, obviously, um, and it's an IBM video. Um, I was actually searching for, just, I just, Searching for sort of 1960s IBM stuff, and um, and I came across this video, and it's basically IBM Apollo 11, the untold story of IBM team behind the moon landing. It's only five minutes long. It's, not it's only three minutes fifty nine, so four minutes long. And um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting, so I thought I wanted to uh, show it on my channel and maybe just talk about it a little bit. So uh, with that being said, let's kick it off. On mission day, nobody can sleep. You're hyped. You're scared to death. This is not taking an airplane ride, right? The idea was to land at a particular spot on the moon. We were pretty confident about everything except for that last part, which was the powered descent. It must have been, must have been brilliant to be there. It must have been absolutely fantastic. 50 years ago, so I mean, these guys, I mean, they don't look that old. They look like they're in the 60s, so God, they must have been so young. I mean, look, this is only a month ago. We've known each other all this time, and uh, we actually have lunch once a month together. Wow. We're just buddies now. Well, that's, that's I decided my senior year in high school I wanted to be a programmer, and about my junior year in college, I decided I was going to work for IBM. When I first well, back when you could just do worked that. in Bethesda, Maryland, I lived on Pennsylvania Avenue, just right down the street from John Kennedy, and he said, we're going to put a man on the moon, and I went, gosh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> At that time, we thought we were pretty hot stuff with a thousand words of memory on oh, a drum. I, I love that kind of tech. I would love I mean, You wrote these programs with a pencil and an eraser. <laughs> you you go into our building, you'd see people running around at 2 o'clock in the morning with these boxes and all these cards in there. And it was sort of a combination of art and science. Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Oh, Retro, go, I don't go. I don't go. When I knew the spacecraft was 100 feet above the ground, we quickly determined that Neil Armstrong was doing hover mode. 4200 finger, go for landing, over. He was flying it like a helicopter above the ground, trying to find a good place to land. He had ice water in his veins. Stayed mm -hmm. calm, stayed cool, stayed collected. How did your pulse rate? It went up. <laughs> My take is he had around 20 seconds left of fuel, or he would have had to abort. I remember praying, dear Lord, just help him put it down. Just put it down. <laughs> and about 15 seconds later, he put it down. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. First off, you That's feel this enormous <sighs> relief that it actually worked and nothing I did screwed up, I don't think. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Then you go crash. Because you have slept about this three actually, days. These guys don't look that The old. fact of the matter is, we'd have never gotten to the moon, and we'd I mean, have never landed, and we'd have never let's come on the They don't look If it hadn't have been that old. for the IBM hardware and software so what, 50 and operation ago? support, it couldn't have been done. Man cannot they think that been fast. In the, 20s. the computers could, and we could build them, and we did. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. <laughs> I had a two-year-old son, and I had a daughter who was two months old. And so I took both of them outside, and I took my son and oh, said, Greg, man, yeah. look at the moon. You looked wow. at the moon while men walked on it. And I remember that just as if it happened yesterday. That'll be good. To do that with your kids, that will be excellent. Fifty years later, I'll be able to still checking out things like that. I think it's pretty clear that at the time in 1969, IBM took a major risk in working with NASA. The number of things that could have gone wrong uh, in that mission are enormous. I think it says a lot about IBM and IBMers. We solve problems. We love to solve problems. The bigger, the better. And that's what IBM is all about. We are a trusted partner for some of the most difficult problems in the world. So I'll just stop it there. Yeah, it's literally one second to go. So yeah, um, so I just thought I'd 
yeah, I saw that video. Um, it's pretty new, and uh, it's kind of retro tech vaguely. So I thought I'd stick it on my uh, stick, it, make a video and stick it on the channel. Um, yeah, IBM. I mean, they they're a, they're an intru interesting one because I mean, w when you look at the history, there was so. I mean, basically the first um, Herman Hollerith, um, who who uh, you know create, create the the tabulator created the tabulator for one of the early uh, census bureaus in the very, was it very late 19th century, very, very, very late 19th century, or very, very early. Um, I ought to do my homework before I start talking about this stuff. But anyway, Herman Hollerith created that. And then there was, I think there was a collaboration of companies that effectively became IBM. So Tom Watson led that, created what, what became International Business Machines and IBM. Tabulators kind of grew into calculators which grew into defense calculators which became our mainframes and this is vague but this is a vague timeline i mean obviously people will correct me on this i'm sure if i'm wrong um so that that you know they're, they're, that's just really really historically important um i mean it the, the thing with it nowadays is i went i must admit i think particularly because at the moment, time of recording i work for experian and um, so IBM, to me, if I'm being totally honest, f just these days feels like a services company, um, you know, and, and whilst it's, I mean, this, you know, this is kind of a great video and it's the kind of the US, uh, you know, good old American history and stuff like that. But rea in reality now, I think IBM's kind of spread out around the world. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much of it is based in the US now, but certainly just it feels like a big services company. But that's not to, I'm going on a bit of a rant there. It's not to detract from the video. The video is excellent. I think this would actually make quite a good documentary, to be fair. I think this is probably, I think you could take this and balloon it out in maybe um, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, maybe even longer than that. Um, I'd certainly be interested in it, um, seeing the background. Because, um, you know, they, 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 aren't, they aren't NASA. They didn't land the guys on the moon, but they were running the systems. And, and then they're absolutely right. There's a guy in, during that video who comments, you, the, the bottom line is that people just can't think that fast and computers can but the people can make the computers I thought that was a really good line because he's absolutely right because it's you know people build the computer then the computer can think much faster for us and uh, make those decisions which obviously was crucial in getting somebody to the moon um, and uh, yeah so that's it I'm going to stop there I'm going to stop waffling because I think I'm about 8 minutes I don't want to go over that um, so if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down I don't really mind, um, and uh, yeah, I'll probably try my hand. This is the first reaction video I've ever made. It's probably not that great. I don't know much about making reaction videos, so I'll probably just try my hand at a few more. See how I do, and that's it. So, catch you later. See, I can't even stop the video. Okay, this is getting embarrassing now. How do we stop this video? Stop, stop, you bugger, stop. <laughs> okay, take care, guys.